Well guys, Sunflower Harvest 2022 is here. So now I'm headed to the field. Basically my dad's passing on Tony and my brother had all the trucks brought out to the field, had the combine brought out to the field. Because I was traveling from a nearby city, I had some work to be done. And now I'm back in the city and I'm heading straight to the field. No speed limits here. Now I know you can't smell this, but it smells like vegetable oil. From all the power, my rear bumper has cracked, but no problem. I think I will be getting this removed because it just looks very sad. I mean, it's not an SRT8 and I want to make a side dump exhaust on each side over here, here and on the underside. Uh, and I want to do that because when I roll down my windows, I want it to smell like cancer and sound good to me anyway. So I just did a couple of passes here on the sunflowers and I have to say that they are horrible. But there's nothing I can do about that. This pass is over there in a pretty safe place. Tightening up one of those conveyor belts. One of the trucks is already full so that's good. At least we are doing some work. P brake. Somebody with Alexion over there is harvesting. And Spass is still fixing my belt. That's a quite interesting position to be in. Now I'll tell you something. As the day is progressing, something feels very wrong. We haven't broke down a single time, so you know it's we just have to break down, otherwise it's not us. Well, kind of weird date because nothing happened. I mean we didn't break down, but I guess that's kinda of good and it's about time I head home. So, see you in the morning. Good morning. They left me out here to walk to the combine. And it's pretty far away. Over there in the distance you can see a man named Anatoly. Kostavice. Kifted. Kashizem. Yotim. In Bulgaria. Romania, Serbia, Albania, basically over the Balkans, that's how you bribe people. Not with money, but with food. There's the combine over there. We parked it away from anything flammable. Not that the sunflower stocks are flammable, but just in case. Just walking around here, I'm noticing that the ground is wet. I mean, it's not that wet, but surely the combine is making a big trek. Shut up already. I forgot forgot to take it out of the gear. That might be a problem. We'll see. Yes, it will be a problem. So anyway, I have absolutely no time to waste. begins basically just set the lines with your neighbors now hear me out 
yesterday I didn't get much time to record. I mean, I was on the phone, I was making important phone calls, you know. But today I think I'll get more footage, and yesterday was actually kind of boring, nothing happened. We ran all day, had no problems, just good harvesting, which is what's supposed to be happening. I mean, if you want to be productive, you want the combine moving at all times. The trucks were pretty good, that's because the silos are pretty close and they don't have to run as much distance and they are coming back pretty quickly, so we're actually good with the transport. Some flowers are not doing that good, but it doesn't matter, I can't do anything about it. Yes, parts of the cultivator. Good job, Spaz. I found something very strange and I don't know if I should be asking questions about it. I mean, it's right by the road. People are passing by here and leaving strange things. Somebody's farming more than just some flowers over here. Now, let's quickly talk about something. The sunflowers that I'm harvesting, which we consider bad, are yielding about 250 kilograms per decker, which is about two tons and a half per hectare. Now, this for us is a pretty bad yield considering that we got lots of drought. But speaking to my grandpa, he said actually that back when he used to work, like in the 80s and 90s, there literally were no yield like that. This was a very good yield back then. So just because we are used to fertilizing and spraying everything with chemicals that I can't even name and getting extreme yields and considering something like that to be a bad yield, we're pretty spoiled. So let's just thank God that we even have this big humble after all because I can imagine it can be much worse. Now my combine has been bulletproof, knock on wood. Yesterday I ran all day with no issue. I hope today I get to run with no issues at all. I don't care about that much left from this field, I'm gonna be moving to another one. And let's just try to get that everything goes as planned. Now, since Spass is not here to bother me, it's about time I blast my playlist of Romanian gypsy music. Finally, something broke down. The chain fell off. Well, that's pretty much nothing. I mean, Spaz is, has already the chain on the sprocket, so we'll be fine. But still, this year is kind of going cool. Praise the Lord. Finally, a worthy breakdown. The bearing on the feeder house drive is shot, so we gotta take a look at that. Now, real quickly, let's just recap what happened. So when you've been driving one machine for a couple of years, you kind of get used to the sounds it makes, and you kind of know what kind of sounds it should make and what kind of sounds it shouldn't make. So I noticed that a specific sound of the combine functioning was missing. And that was pretty weird. That either means that something is stopping or that something is severely damaged. So we went out to take a look and the first thing I saw, I was like, this belt seems kind of loose. This thing over here is the vacuum cleaner for the feeder house. And I was like, why would the belt be loose? It doesn't have any tensioner. It should be very tight. Then I noticed something. I started to touch this thing and kind of move it around and kind of spin it around and it was making a weird noise. When I look behind it, I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but the bearing is totally broken. Remember how I was complaining about this thing just running fine and not breaking down? 
Yes, yes, uh, that is not the case, it broke down. It was pretty weird that the thing kept on running without any issues until now. I mean, it's not a major issue, it's gonna be fixed easily, but it's already getting wet and we just better go home and fix it in the morning, you know, like the normal people do. So, anyway, today we got a lot of deckers done. I mean, it's unusual the amount of deckers that we have harvested today. So maybe it's for the better to let the, the machine rest, to let our people rest because we've been here since 5 p.m. So, I mean a.m. not p.m. So let's just go have rest and see you next time. No, man.